Hallelujah. Brethren, may the Lord happy to be with you another moment. Cavalry greetings in Jesus' name. Wherever you are, anywhere in any country you are, I greet you in Jesus' name. I hope the Lord has always been taking care of you. May his name be praised. Hallelujah. Thank you for being with, with me and for joining me in this precious moment the Lord has given us. Amen. Just want us to bow down our heads and appreciate God for his love upon our lives. In Jesus' name. Prayers in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we are grateful this moment. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your greatness. We thank you, Lord, for giving us the opportunity, Lord, to be alive. Father, we thank you for the privilege. We exalt your name, O oh God, for your protection. Thank you, Lord, for giving us that grace, O oh God, to be in your presence this moment. O oh God, we elevate your name. We give you all the honor. We say take all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we say, O oh God, as we have gathered once more in your presence, O oh Jesus, Father, have mercy upon us. Lord, O oh God, whatever we have done that is not pleasing to you, O oh Father, we pray for your mercies in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we, O oh God, know where we have fallen. We know where we have gone short of your glory. We know, Lord, that we have not been faithful to you. We know, Jesus, we have not been listening to you. Father, you call us, we do not answer. Father, we are sorry for our sinfulness. Lord, have mercy upon us this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord Almighty, Father, we have come once more again in your presence, O King of Kings, to receive from your altar. My God, I pray, O God, that we will not leave your presence the way we came. Father, Lord, we pray, O God, your presence will fulfill the purpose in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, O God Almighty, we present this moment into your throne of grace. Father, take over, O God, as we gather in your presence. Give us the grace to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we worship you. Take all the glory. Take all the honor, adoration forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, I am grateful that you are alive. And I am grateful that I am alive to have this precious moment with the Lord. Hour of prayer. You know, the Bible said we should not be ignorant of the, over the devices of the devil. Yes. And our topic today is, who is that devourer? Hallelujah. Many things happen in our lives that we don't understand. But because there is a devourer that is sitting next to you, there is a devourer before you, there is a devourer in front of you. Hallelujah. So follow me straight away as we go into the book of Revelation 12. We will begin from verse 1. In Jesus' name. I will read in Jesus' name. If you are there with your Bible, go with me. Are you there? If somebody is there, read with me. We will begin from verse 1. Then a great and mysterious sight appear in the sky there was a woman whose dress was the sun and who had the moon under her feet and a crown of 12 stars on her head but i like the way new living translation put it she was hallelujah verse 1 in new living translation then i witnessed in heaven 
an event of great significance, I saw a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon beneath her feet, and a crown of twelve stars on her head. You know, brethren in the Lord, that woman was honored. Just as like you and I, God honored us. God gave us everything he owns. We are honored by God. Hallelujah. Verse 1 talks about honor. The honor that this woman had. Now, I place you, or I want you to put your place in this, in that woman's place. Whatever or whoever you are, I don't know your names, but I know. Put your name in that place. For me, I will put my name. I, Ada, is honored by the Lord. I want us to pray this prayer point. Father, secure my honor. Hallelujah. Secure my honor. Prayers in Jesus' name. Most precious, most wonderful God. Father, I pray the honor, O oh God, that you have given me. The honor, O oh God, that from the beginning, O oh God, you had in your mind concerning me. I pray, Lord, secure my honor in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, because the word says the thought you have for me are thought of good. And expected end is that which you desire and always wanted for me. Lord, I pray, God, let my honor be secured in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you, my brothers and sisters. As I begin to pray for you, your honor is secured by the blood of Jesus. Any oh God, wherever you are, I begin to pray for you right now. Let God protect your honor. God will protect your honor. God will protect your honor. In the name of Jesus Christ, your honor will not be taken from you. Your honor will not be shattered. Your honor will remain with you and you alone. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray, let your blood seal the honor of your children this hour. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We praise Master Jesus. He is marvelous. Our God is great. And let's go to verse 2. Revelation 12 verse 2. Hallelujah. I will go straight away in New Living Translation. She was pregnant. Take note of that. She was what? Pregnant. And she cried out in pain. Of labor as she awaited her delivery. Do you hear what the Bible said? She was pregnant. I want you to understand one thing. You are pregnant with greatness. So is somebody getting me? No, the Lord has prepared us and equipped us that He has impregnated us with wonderful things, with things that that cannot be understand by human knowledge the children of God are pregnant with greatness that words cannot even describe the kind of greatness that God has impregnated you and I is somebody getting me hallelujah Jesus is great I want us to pray the second prayer point Oh, Jesus, that which you have bestowed in me, Lord, preserve it. That which, oh God, I am pregnant of, Father, preserve it, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Follow me, prayers in Jesus' name, wherever you are, being in Europe, being here in, Ka in Cameroon, being in Africa as the whole, I want you to begin to speak to yourself. Father, that which, oh God, I am pregnant of. My father, I know I am pregnant of greatness. Oh, Jesus, the woman was pregnant.
pregnant and she cried out of her labor. She was pregnant with greatness, with excellent thing, thing to give her honor. I want you to begin to fire prayer. Lord, that which, oh God, I am pregnant of. Father, guide, oh God, my potential. I am pregnant, oh God, with greatness. Oh Jesus, guide my pregnancy. Oh God, for my good. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Father, oh God, let me pray for you, my brothers and sisters. As you are wherever you are, you are praying with me. And I begin to pray with you too. Let me pray for you, my Father, my Maker. Lord, I pray whatever, oh God, your children are pregnant with, with the greatness. Father, with great potential. Lord, you have made them great women and men of God. My Father, I pray let their pregnancy be secured in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The second prayer point in same verse 2. The Bible said the woman cried in labor in pain. I don't know how you have been laboring in your life to succeed in life. Hallelujah. I don't know how you see you are labored, struggled day and night to put things together, but yet you cry out with pain. You labor day and night. She had her own cry. I don't know your own cry. You know your own cry. You are pregnant and you are in labor. I want you to pray that, Father, let my cry come out with joy. Let my labor come out successfully. My labor shall not go in vain. That's the best word. That my labor shall not go in vain. Prayers in Jesus' name, brethren, in the Lord. Begin to fire prayers. You in the east, you in, on the west, you in the south. Oh, my father, my maker. You in the north, I begin to pray right now. Jehovah, my father, my pain, oh God. My pain, oh God, my labor that I will labor shall not go in vain. It will never be shattered. Oh, Father, I must harvest that which I labor for. I must, oh God, harvest that which I labor for. Lord Jesus, the seed which I cried in pain to plant, my God, it will grow and I shall, oh God, harvest it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I begin to pray right now to my brothers and sisters, to my brothers and sisters, to my brothers Train wherever they are, I begin to pray God, their labor shall not be shattered. Their labor will never be broken into pieces. My father, but they will harvest, oh God, their labor, the fruit which they will plant, oh God. Father, as they cry in planting, so shall they harvest in joy. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are the marvelous and excellent God. Jehovah Rapha, take all the glory. We magnify your name in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Verse 3 said, Soon daily I witness in heaven another significant event. I saw a large red dragon with seven heads and ten horns with seven crowns on his head. Hallelujah. With seven crowns on his head. I, do, I want you to be that. Don't be afraid. I don't know the demons or the witches and wizards. No matter their crowns that they were. Remember, God has clothed you with moon under your feet and with sun on your head. You are clothed with greatness to not be afraid of the devices of the devil. Do not be afraid. I want us to pray that Father, any dragon, any red dragon from east, west, north and south, Father, 
I shall not be afraid of any dragon. I will not be afraid of any dragon. For the Lord has given me the spirit of boldness. The Father, any spirit of any spirit of red dragon. Father, give me the spirit not to be afraid. A bold mind. Prayers in Jesus' name. Marvelous God. The Bible said the red dragon, oh God. With seven heads, oh God. With seven horns, oh God. Father, oh God, with ten heads, oh Father. Lord, I am not afraid of it. I am not afraid of it. Because God, you have given me, oh God, the authority to tremble over scorpions and snake. I shall not be afraid of any red dragon. I am not afraid because the Bible said that he has set, oh God, a table before me. And he has clothed me with his son. He has given me angels to fight my battle. Lord, I will not be afraid of any dragon from anywhere. In the name of Jesus, I pray God Almighty for a sound mind. Oh God, a heart, oh God, that is not afraid. Father, give me a bold mind to resist, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus, I pray for my brothers and sisters, wherever they are, my God, my Father, no any red dragon, oh God, they will jump and pass. They will not be afraid. They will resist the red dragon and they will stand their ground because the Lord God Almighty is by their side. Oh Father, oh God, you will build them as you build the house of, oh God, Daniel. You will set their surrounding with the flaming water. You will guide them from any dragons. They will not be afraid because, oh God, you are with them and you will give them a sound mind, a bold mind, a mind to conquer in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And verse 4. He stayed right down one third of the stars which he drew to the earth. He stood before the woman. This is our key verse. Who is that devourer? I take it over again. Verse 4. He still dragged down one third of the stars, which he threw, he threw to the earth. He stood before the woman as she was about to give birth to her child, ready to devour the baby as soon as it was born. Is somebody getting me? Listen again. He stood before the woman ready to devour the baby as soon as it was born. I don't know who is in front of you that is ready to devour your future. You don't know who is around you except you are in Christ Jesus. It might be your business. Someone is there in front of you ready to devour you. Even your Christian life, your prayer life, Someone is always somewhere before you, ready to devour you. Who wanted to dethrone God? Lucifer, God's own servants, closer to God. The rising sun, the one who always sing praises to God, closer to God, desire to devour, thought he would devour God and take his throne. Who is that person? next to you that is ready to devour you hallelujah i want us to bow down our head and begin to pray to god i want you to pray from the depth of your heart i want you to pray from the bottom of your heart the bible says a close mouth is a close destiny when your mouth is closed your destiny is sealed 
When you open your mouth out of the mouth, the, 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 uh, uh, the, the word is speaking and things begin to happen to you. You prophesy with your own mouth. You use your mouth to deliver your life. You use your own mouth to free yourself from any bondage of any red dragon and any devourer. I want you to begin to pray to God. The Father, any devourer that is standing in front of me. The Bible said the red dragon stood before this woman, ready to devour her precious baby as soon as it was born. I don't know that which the devil is about to devour from you. I don't know the things that you have kept together and struggled yet is being devoured. It is end today. It is going to end today in the name of Jesus. As we begin to pray, let the fire of God come down and begin to raise every red dragon that is ready to devour us. I want you to begin to pray that Father, any devourer before me, behind me, beside me, Father, let that devourer catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer with me, my God, my Father in heaven, Lord God Almighty, Father in the name of Jesus, my Father, my Maker, as I begin to pray right now, any devourer, Lord, in front of me. I do not care to know who you are, but I know the Lord God Almighty is oh God by my side, and he has given me the authority to overcome scorpions and Seneca, a calibra kataya, my father, my maker, any devourer in front of me, I shatter you in the name of Jesus Christ, any devourer be beside me, I begin to scatter you in the name of Jesus, you devourer behind me, I separate myself from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, I begin to pray right this moment. Not my life, not my future, not my destiny that will be devoured by any devourer. I shut the eyes of the devourer. I shut the mouth of the devourer and I change you by fire in the name of Jesus. The Bible says God has given me the authority. I begin to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I begin to pray for you, my brother in the Lord. I begin to pray for you. I pray, God Almighty, oh God, that destiny that is about to devour, I release fire and I separate my brother from that devourer. I separate my sister from that devourer. Any destiny devourer, I shatter your plans in the name of Jesus. Anywhere, oh God, that your children are and the devourer is beside them. I separate them from that devourer. Expose them by fire. Is it man or woman that is standing as a devourer against your life, against your business, against your safety, against your Christian life, against your future? I release fire. Fire of separation. Hey, the Bible said, I said do agree, for they cannot work together. I pray God Almighty, I disagree with any devourer that is standing before my brothers and sisters. Oh God, that is behind them, beside them, anywhere around their destiny. I release God in the name of Jesus Christ. Your destiny will never be devoured. As long as the Lord live it, as long as the Lord is on the throne, you cannot be devoured. You cannot be devoured because the blood of Jesus was shed on the cross of Calvary to set you free, to remove you from the hands of the devourer. Remember, David and even the devourer could not devour him because he was with the Lord. And because the Lord was with Israel, the devourer was defeated. Any devourer in your life, in your family, in your destiny, in your academy, in your future, even in your business, they oh God, they will not survive because the heat of the Lord will push them out in the name of Jesus. As you begin to hear me right now, wherever you are, in any part of the country, I begin to pray, in any part of the world, I release grace for you to resist the devourer. In the name of Jesus Christ, God Almighty, you are awesome. That devourer must go. That devourer must bow. 
that devourer must submit in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise and honor. Lord, we worship you this moment. Father, we exalt your holy name. Father, Lord, I pray that you give grace to your children to be steadfast in you, to always be prayerful. That's why you cried, O oh God, and that's why you taught the disciples. You teach them how to pray in order to resist these evil days. Father, help your children to resist these evil days in the name of Jesus Christ. And at times, even yourself can also be a devourer. Yes, even your own self can be your devourer. Serve. Serve. You might be a nice sister. You might be a nice brother. You might be a billionaire, trillionaire, whatsoever. But self can stand as a devourer. Your own self is standing next to you. Is right before you. Can be your devourer. I want us to pray this prayer point. Then we close. This is the first phase of Revelation 12. I want us to pray that, Father, any attitude in me that is devouring, oh God, my future with you, let that attitude disappear. Take away that attitude from me. Many a times, it is ourselves that is standing against our future. You might be a beautiful sister, but character will not let you get married. It's a devourer. Yes, you might be a wonderful brother with money everywhere. Attitude. You are so full of yourself. Proud. Talk to people anyhow. It's a devourer. It's separating you from your security. Someone can be next to you that will save you from that danger. But because of your attitude, they will allow you to fall into the pit. It's a devourer. That attitude is a devourer. I want us to pray. And it's a serious matter and a sickness that many believers, many children of God, has not even realized it. We point our finger at times most at the wrong place. I want us to pray for ourselves. Lord, kill self in me. That self that has been a devourer, that has, has destroyed my relationship with you, that has destroyed my relationship even with others. Lord Jesus, kill that devourer in me. Take away that attitude that is devouring, oh God, my future. That is keeping me stuck now. Yes, attitude can, attitude keeps you stuck now. You don't go ahead. You think you are going ahead. No, you are in the same place. You are not moving. I want you to pray from the depth of your heart. Cry. It's a sickness that is serious. Father, take away this attitude that is devouring, oh God, my, my, my image. That is devouring the image which you have given me. Lord, take it away. Pray us in Jesus' name. Most precious, most wonderful God, glorious Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, I come before your throne. I come before your footstool. I come before your altar this moment. I pray, God Almighty, deliver me, O oh God, from self. O oh Father, that attitude that has been a devourer in my future, that attitude that has been a devourer, O oh God, in my relationship with you, that attitude that oh God is making me stuck now that 
attitude that is separating me away from my loved ones. That attitude, oh, that is making me, oh God, feel so proud of myself. Lord, I pray, it's a devourer to me. Lord, I pray, deliver me and take it away. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh my Father, my Maker, I present my brethren, oh God, in the Lord. I pray, faithful one, wherever they are, my Father, hear the cry this moment and heal them from the disease of self, that devourer that has turned, oh God, that stigma, oh God, that has taken away their position, oh God, in the society, that has taken away their position in you, that has given them, oh God, no good, that has done them no good, that has made them, oh God, like most wanted people. I pray, God, that that attitude, let it be taken away in the name of Jesus Christ, not that devourer, oh God of self. Father, heal them from that sickness. Heal them from that pain. Is oh God, eh, an agony, oh God. Father, experience, oh God, that your children has refused to realize. I pray, oh God, bring them, oh God, to light. Let their eyes be open. Let them see themselves. Let them, oh God, repent, oh Father, and let that devourer be free from them. In the name of Jesus, I command you, oh you devourer of attitude. I begin to release your grip from them. I release your grip from them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, take over Lord. Take over Jesus. Lord, as your children come to you with cry, they come to you, oh God, with a repentance heart. The Bible says, only your people who are called by your name will humble themselves, will repent from their sin. And they shall cry unto you, they will pray, and you will hear their prayers. And you will heal their land, Lord. Lord, as your children come before you, Father, heal their land, O oh God. Heal their land from any devourer. Lord, save them from any devourer. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we are grateful. You are the most precious God. We give you all the praise. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Lord, we resist and stand against any arrow of attack in our lives. My Father, we bring forth all our prayer points before your throne. Lord, let our prayer points, oh God, be secured with the blood of Jesus Christ. My Father, we resist any arrow, any setback by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, take all the glory. We worship you. Thank you. We bless your holy name. I want you to come before God as you are. As stones that are not shaped. If you are ready to receive Christ, I want you to repeat this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come today, Father, as a sinner. Lord Jesus, I come today as naked as I am. Lord Jesus, I am sorry for my sin. Lord Jesus, I am sorry for all this time that I have rejected you. Lord Jesus, I come before you that you may have mercy upon me. Lord Jesus, I come before you that you will take me back as your child. Lord Jesus, do not reject me. Have mercy on me. Father, I pray that you will give me the grace to continue to serve you in truth and in spirit. Help me, oh Lord Jesus, to receive you in my life. Lord, on my own power, I will not be able. But with you, I will be able. In the name of Jesus, 
Father, I receive you today as my personal Lord and Savior. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Let me pray for you. Holy One of Israel, that I am most precious, faithful God. I thank you for these ones that have received you today as their personal Lord and Savior. Lord, come into their life and make them, O oh God, your own. Come into their life and take total dominion. Father, they have, O oh God, realized themselves and come to you, O oh God, as political children whom, O oh God, reject the Father and go their own way. And now they have realized themselves, O oh God, and they have come back to you. Father, receive them. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that let your light shine upon their lives, that they will be steadfast. Father, help them, O oh God, to serve you in truth and in spirit. Guide them in this path of righteousness. Take them through, O oh God. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for you are a faithful God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you in the second phase of Revelation 12.